Functional languages use recursion instead of iteration. The recursion is the way to write efficient recursive function. Can we take advantage of it in common Lisp? Let's start by discussing what is the recursion. A function is recursive if in its body it calls itself. A classical example is the factorial, which can easily be expressed using recursion. The factorial of 0 is itself, while the factorial of another number is n times the factorial of n minus 1. The advantage of writing recursive function is that they are often more expressive than the equivalent iterative one. Like in the case of factorial, it can follow exactly the definition. But recursive function have a big problem. Every time there is a call to a function, some space has to be allocated on the stack, and it cannot be freed until the function has finished. We can see this using trace. Factorial of 10 needs some space, and then inside it calls factorial of 9. The argument 10 cannot be freed when calling factorial of 9, because it will need the value to compute the final result. In this case, the space needed to end the algorithm is proportional to the input. In functional languages, recursion is used instead of iteration, because iteration needs mutation, while recursion can be done using only constants in the lexical scope. That is, local variable can be considered constant, as it happens for the n in the factorial function. We never change the value of n. If it is so important, there must be a way to make our algorithm more efficient. When the recursive call in tail position, which means that is the last thing in the function, the algorithm can be run in constant space. This is known as tail recursion. The compiler basically rewrites the function using an iterative approach. The previous version of factorial wasn't tail recursive, because the last operation is the product. Nevertheless, the same function can be rewritten in this way. If we look at the return value of trace, it looks like nothing has changed. But if we look at the return value of the function, it is always the same. The problem is that it is not enough to write a function in tail position. The compiler has to optimize it. When we talk about common Lisp, first of all, we have to look at the standard. And uh, sadly, the standard doesn't require an implementation to optimize the recursion. Nevertheless, most implementations do. For example, ABCL, which is based on the JVM, cannot implement it. The same thing happens in Clojure. SBCL usually optimizes it. To verify it, we have just to disassemble the two functions. Let's start with factorial. The code is quite difficult to read, but we can see a comment when the call to factorial happens. And we can see that it is using call. Call is the assembly instruction used to call functions. Let's do the same thing with factorial tail. Again, the code is quite long, and we can see that there is a comment when the actual call happens. But this time, instead of call, he is using jump, which means that this is just a loop. It has been transformed in an iterative algorithm. The common suggestion is to not rely on implementation-specific features, and so one should not rely on tail recursion. Every algorithm that can be written using recursion can be rewritten using loops. In the reimplementation of the factorial, we have changed the input. It takes two numbers instead of one. Nevertheless, we can easily change it back using local functions. Labels let us define a function which is local. In this case, we have called it iter, and we can see that inside iter, the implementation is the same as factorial tail. Iter is defined only in the scope of labels. Thus, we will call factorial, which will call iter with the right parameters. The result is that from the outside, the factorial looks the same as the first implementation. An alternative approach is, instead of using labels, to use an optional parameter. This way, the user of the function has to provide only n, and accumulator takes the default value, while in the recursive call, we pass the right value to the accumulator. For those that are used to a functional style, they can use the recursion with known implementation that usually optimize it, like SBCL. Nevertheless, the suggested way is to do without the recursion and use iteration construct directly. Let me know in the comment if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe.